While it is hard to think that something as cute as this cat could be the cause of trouble, here are a few instances of cat-caused calamities and cataclysms. In 1908 it was reported that on the morning of the 11th of September, a 22-year-old printer named Ernest Robinson, employed at the firm of Turner and Henderson's in Hunter Street, Sydney, was annoyed by the racket made by a cat running on the roof of the premises. Robinson climbed up through a manhole onto the roof and began to give chase to the puss to scare it away, but was so fixated on his goal that he wasn't watching where he stepped. His foot came down on a skylight, his leg being severely cut by the broken glass. Workmates who heard the commotion went and rescued Robinson, who was conveyed to hospital, where it was discovered his calf was nearly torn from the bone. The cat presumably ran away to frolic somewhere else. Although Robinson suffered a painful accident, in October 1923 a worse fate befell Reginald Wiggle, a 56-year-old married man in Maryborough, Queensland, who was also annoyed by a cat. Rather than intending to simply shoo the cat away, Reginald got a gun to shoot the kitty. As he climbed through some slip rails, the gun went off, and the blast took the top of his head with it, killing him instantly. Cats were the source of a lot of problems at the end of the 1920s, it seems. In January 1928, a young woman in Darlinghurst, Sydney, phoned police for help when she woke at midnight to hear strange noises outside. A police patrol rushed to the scene and discovered another woman had climbed out a window and was walking up and down on the veranda roof, searching for her cat, which had strayed. On the 19th of July 1928, police were again called out, this time to a shop in Fitzroy Street, Grafton, New South Wales. There the women residents in the building at the time had heard noises downstairs which led them to believe a burglar was attempting to gain entry. Constables Hannah and Jackson arrived and were thrown the keys from the balcony. Upon searching, the culprit was found on a window sill. The family cat was trying to get out a rear window and was becoming quite frantic in its efforts. Possibly as retaliation for all that police attention, one of the furry brethren caused trouble in a police station. At least the cat got the blame when the police station at Ravenshoe in northern Queensland went up in flames on the night of the 2nd of June 1929. It was said the cat must have knocked over a kerosene lamp which started the blaze, which destroyed the personal effects and government property of Constable Dunley, his wife and children, who escaped the fire in their nightclothes just before the building collapsed around 4am. Hopefully the cat escaped too. Another cat which almost killed a family lived in New Zealand. In May 1931, a cat was left inside a house to catch mice overnight, when the feline, in the course of its duty, jumped on a gas stove to investigate some fish which had been left there, managing to turn on the gas when it did so. A mother and three children were overcome by the fumes, and others in the house were made violently ill. A Persian cat caused trouble on the 5th of June 1948, which was much less dangerous, but no doubt frustrating for the humans. The cat somehow managed to become trapped under an iron grill over tram lines in Gurner Street, Paddington, Sydney. A tram driver and conductor using tram hooks and assisted by passengers lifted the grill to free the trapped cat. Instead of running home, the cat darted under the tram and sat on the undercarriage, refusing to budge. For five minutes, other trams began banking up behind the one with the cat under it, when apparently, bored with the game, the cat suddenly jumped down and ran off, leaving the trams to recommence their runs. Finally, a cat at Dalwallanu, Western Australia, in April 1949, was responsible for shooting a 15-year-old lad named Ronald Bancroft. The cat knocked a rifle from a shelf, which fell across Ronald's body and discharged, a point two bullet entering his left forearm. The cat was unharmed. 